Well, it's no secret. It's chilly in Montana tonight, but three organizations in Billings are working together to make sure those who don't currently have a home still have a bed to sleep in. Ren Wadsworth visited the new emergency shelter to explain the impact this alternative housing has. While the Treasure State waits out Arctic temperatures, some members of our community may not be able to escape the elements. This newly opened shelter plans to change that. Inside the walls of Billings First Congregational Church is a haven for unhoused people in Billings. The emergency shelter, called Shelter First, was developed by the Yellowstone County Continuum of Care in partnership with the Community Crisis Center. In the hopes of helping those experiencing homelessness in the Billings community find a safe place to lay their head, especially during times of extreme weather. So we were able to get open yesterday, right in the nick of time for the first day of winter, longest night of the year, and the coldest recorded temperatures in my lifetime, certainly really in history it sounds like. So um, it was really important for the 13 people that we sheltered here last night on our very first night, they had nowhere else to go. This is a shelter of last resort. So what we do here is we try to find the best placement for folks. Um, and if there's nowhere else they can be, then we go ahead and provide them that warm, safe, dry place to sleep for the night. Boyder says it doesn't stop at giving visitors a place to stay. She says organizers consciously make decisions with potential accommodations and accessibility in mind. So this is a low barrier shelter. What that means is that we remove as many barriers as possible that might exist in a traditional shelter situation so that people do have that warm, safe, dry place to stay. In this community, the barriers that we are seeing are primarily health related, honestly. We have an aging population um, that's seeing an impact both from COVID and the economy, the housing crisis we have here, but also we have a non-sober population. So folks who aren't ready to get sober or aren't able to get sober quite yet because when you're living on the streets every night, you're just trying to survive. Shelter First can house up to 31 people a night, children included. The shelter is open from 6.30 at night till 6.30 the next morning, every night until April 30th. Check-ins for the shelter will begin at 6.30 each night. These beds will soon be filled, helping ensure our most vulnerable community members in the Magic City have a safe place to sleep tonight. Ren Wadsworth, Nonstop Local. Hey, Ren, thank you very much.